Welcome to Codify by AAPC. Accessing Codify is simple. Go to www.aapc.com and log into your member account. Select Resources from the top menu and click the Codify option. On the Codify homepage, you have a multitude of tools available such as various coding crosswalks, LCD lookup tools, code changes, and CCI edit checkers. The menu on the left hand side contains access to the various code sets such as CPT, HICPIX, ICD-10-CM, and depending on your level of access, you may see ICD-10-PCS, DRGs, and HCCs. Codify's homepage is customizable. This allows you to decide what you see and what you don't. The Customize button allows you to add and remove tools from your homepage. Once you save your changes, you will not have to alter your Codify homepage again unless you choose to. If you ever want to reset the homepage to what it was previously, go ahead and click the Reset button. You can also move the boxes around. If you do not need crosswalk information or do not use it often, say you primarily use the CCI Edit Checker, scroll down and find the CCI Edit Checker box, and at the top left hand side you will see a Move symbol. Grab that symbol and start scrolling up to the top above the crosswalks. You can take it a step further and rearrange the boxes on the page as well. The top right hand side toolbar contains access to publications, code tools, and code sets. The coding tools menu is where you find tools like CCI Edit Checker, which can also be found on the home page unless removed. Other tools include fee schedules and crosswalks, also available as widgets on the home page. Available newsletters, including CPT Assistant and Coding Clinic articles, are located under the Publications menu if you have subscribed to these add-ons. Anytime you need to jump back to the home page, click the Codify logo at the top left-hand side of the page. There are several ways to search for codes within Codify. The Code Set navigation bar to the left-hand side contains various options for each code set chosen, including code ranges, modifiers, guidelines, and code changes to name a few. Select the Index option if you would rather search for a code similar to the way you would code in the codebook. The main search box at the top of the page can accommodate multiple modes of search entries, such as keywords and code ranges. You can even enter a selection of codes, such as a combination of CPT and ICD-10-CM codes separated by a comma. For example, if I enter in 31500-99213-64483-J98.01 and I10, the result automatically puts a list of the codes together in a listing format. This is extremely helpful when auditing assigned coding at once rather than one at a time. The advanced search field is static on the page and available no matter what page you are on. The code details screen appears if you search for a single code in the advanced search field or if you click on a code from the search results page. The code symbols, official code descriptor, and any lay terms which are written by AAPC coding staff are available for each available code. Just like the home page, you can customize the code details workspace to suit the way you code. For example, I never use Beto's codes. Use the set order button located in the top right hand corner of the box to choose any details you want to hide from view, in this case, Beto's. You may also customize the order of the visible tabs by clicking the arrow options. No need to maintain a separate document for your coding notes. Codify's personal notes area located on each code details page allows you to enter 20,000 characters. Your notes will stay with the life of the code. Even if the code is deleted, your notes will be available unless you physically delete them. 
custom print anything you need by clicking on the PDF icon located on the top right hand side. It includes the code number and descriptor, but you can add any additional information by selecting the box on the left hand side. As mentioned before, the coding and historical menu is a great way to locate information outside the search action. In addition to code ranges, modifiers, and guidelines, you also have access to several years of code changes and deleted codes. Anytime you search for a deleted code, it will bring you to the deleted code section. Some deleted codes have substitution codes, as well as historical data, where you can click on the year the code was deleted and access any coding details still available for the code in question. Below the deleted codes, you have the same appendices found in codebooks available for you in the navigation bar. The ICD-10-CM menu contains the drug and chemical table and neoplasm table menu in addition to the code ranges. The CCI Edit Checker allows you to proactively check your HCPCS and CPT coding against NCCI hospital or physician tables to ensure optimum coding and reimbursement accuracy. If you are someone that is used to 10 key, I recommend keeping the auto tabbed one code per box selected. However, if you prefer to copy and paste, changing it to comma separated is suggested. Codify's CCI Edit Checker makes this task as efficient as possible, letting you see everything you need to know at a glance. The available results are easy to download in PDF format. Past version dates are always outlined per quarter. You can also choose a specific locality or keep it set to national. You can code up to 25 codes at a time and need at least two codes. Instantly see which code CMS bundles for practitioner reporting. Color coding lets you know in a flash which edits you can override by using HCPCS or CPT modifiers. Feel confident in your coding choices by reviewing the edit rationale and CCI policy manuals, Medicare and Medicaid, and code lay terms available with your results. Go beyond CCI edits and choose the CMS claim form scrubber that combines CCI with thorough review based on the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule, CPT Concepts, LCDs, NCDs, and more. This scrubber is used as an audit check tool. It will look at a claim as a whole. Whether you are using a new modifier with a procedure code or even new codes together, you can always come to the scrubber and verify information before sending it out. Once you have entered in the claim details, scroll to the bottom to review the critical, medium, or low severity audits. I recommend anything with a medium or critical severity to be looked at because it most likely will get kicked back from a payer. Anything with a low severity usually falls under the category of exclude or use additional code notes. They should always be looked at to make sure you are following correct guidelines. As the administrator of your team, Codify provides you the tools you need to manage your employee access and the licenses themselves. Remove employees and add new individuals to take their place with your purchased licenses and add-ons. AAPC provides thorough implementation training for Codify clients, ensuring that you and your team understand how to utilize Codify to its fullest. Codify has everything a coder would need or want containing all of the information a coder needs to make educated choices to facilitate proper code reporting. Codify your life with Codify by AAPC.